Hey guys, Tivik here, and welcome back to Minecraft Season 4, Episode 2. So, in the last episode, we spent a little bit of time setting up this house here, and now I want to get going on a bit of mining ex experiment here. Experiment? Expedition? Actually, no. We want to make some iron tools. So, three of that should be enough. Yeah, so thinking on what we should have here, let's actually cook up all these four. Is it iron that we want though? Looking at the materials, iron has a 250 durability. I had to sneeze there, I'm sorry about that. Um, we would need to get alumite, but we can't actually get that. So, yeah, we'll be fine with that. Um, so let's go back here to the part builder, get this out, and make a tool rod and a tool binding. I made uh, ah, I didn't actually need that. Shift click, don't do it. Ah, well, can I do something with this? No, can I put this in and make? Yeah, I can. Okay, so it might not be lost. Um one iron pick head and one shovel should be enough and get iron bindings but that's fine let's go for that one and put together an iron pick reinforced one which means that it will not break as fast which is good we don't need that one and let's make a shovel so we can actually get rid of these two now, which I will. Stone bound. With reinforced, they will last a little bit longer, but I will require um, some other stuff to make it. Well, I'm I'm gonna require more iron anyhow. So let's head down. Although, yeah, let's head down and see if we can, without getting killed here get some more iron. It's actually pretty fast. Gonna get a few more iron. There we go. And head back up. What is this? Aluminum? Aluminium. Or aluminum. That's good. I'm gonna get a few of them. It's not really a uh, thing that I need to hurry with um, but yeah let's um, smelt up this iron we'll want to get started on making some machinery but I do want a sword first definitely um, it has 300 durability, mining speed 6, can mine redstone. Very, very good. I think I can improve this, but we'll probably want some better materials. Um, looking at this book here, materials that we can get. Actually, might want to get a mattock. Um, axe tool and shovel head. Okay, so it's a uh, tilling frying pan hmm interesting okay so flint is actually not so good spiny obsidian is what I want uh, it gives me mining level 3 which is obsidian um, just 
the best you can get normally. So obsidian... How do you actually get obsidian <laughs> without having it? Oh, you need to make a diamond pick, I suppose. Um, slimy mud... Copper is actually pretty good. Steel is also very good. I might make some steel. Um, diamond is good, so it increases my mining level with some extra durability as well. Redstone increases the mining speed. Moss makes it auto repair. Not bad. Look, that one we want. Wow, so many things you can make. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that book back in this here. I want one more chest. There we go. We can put it... There. Iron. And let's put away this charcoal, copper, and these ores. And we can put natural stuff like eggs and food stuff and this there. And we don't need to carry around all these things. Um, I want to check and see how we make... I'm going to make a broadsword. Actually... Yeah, broadsword. So we need a blade, a rod, and a wide guard. That's a total of three. Let's not make any mistakes here. A tool rod. And we don't have any blades, actually, so we will need our blank patterns again. Awesome. Um, wide guard. And a blade. Sword blade. Wide guard sword blade. And iron all of them. Like this. We're just going to store that. And of course we go here for a tool station. It's a decent sword. Yep, works like a sword. Hits like a sword. Doesn't hit that well though, but yeah, it'll do, it'll do. Okay, now I'm ready for exploration, I'm not. Ah. Uh, let's get a bunch of this. There we go. Just want to make sure that I have plenty of torches, although I'm going to put some of them away, because I don't need all of them now. Okay. We have... Um... Yeah, I don't have that enabled, so I'm going to continue down here. And it's just actually one iron to repair this thing to full durability again, which is good. And we'll probably need that, since digging does break your tools fairly quickly. Um, going to borrow that. And we'll make a bit of a landing here. Just dig it out like this. Yeah, and grab all these resources. My goal with this expedition is to get a bit of redstone, which is probably easiest to get if we head down this direction here and into the caves.
just wanted to clear this area up a bit and widen this pathway. Something like that. Right. This is a bit of a cavey area. So we will we'll want to be very, very careful so we don't attract any creepers. Um, although they are kind of attracted to me, so they will probably attack me nonetheless. So <laughs> not very much I can do. What do we have here? Okay, here's an opening. What is that? Now I'm curious. Let's see. Just making a bit of a path um, so that we can safely get down. And actually, is my brightness set to full? Yes. Okay, let's uh, dig this up. Vintium ore. It's used to make Vintium dust which in turn is used to make spell st staves. Okay, interesting. So this is the uh, magic, Ars Magica resource, one of them. Suppose there are more. We'll see. That one I know very little about, but I definitely want to play around with it. Make this... Mm, I do want to go technical, but it's in my opinion it's gonna be more like steampunk if you have magic and technology that's kind of awesome there we go and and these don't really last for a long time at all I probably need to replace them a few times, but I can live with that. Oh, quartz. Very nice. Okay, so there was nothing down this hall here, but maybe down here. I'm gonna close that off. Yeah, just to safeguard my way down a bit. Very nice. This seems to be a quite deep cave. Hopefully it will keep going down further. But I don't have any way of telling, like I usually do with a map that can tell me if I'm underground or not, but since I'm running on a server I haven't actually enabled that, so I'm gonna have to live without that. Um, So, dead end. Let's not end up in the lava and be dead. Okay, so nothing down this path. There was nothing down that path. Maybe on the other side of this. This is actually, we have open air to this. I'm just gonna check in this area and see. We're fairly close to the surface. Yeah, seems safe. Let's um, head down here and see. Ow. Lots of quartz. I like that. And uh, for those of you who follow my last Let's Play of Minecraft uh, Season 3, you will know that quartz is something that I didn't have so much. And uh, 
starting to gather, uh, gather it already now is a plus. It's a bonus because it will help me once I want to get started with the mods that use it. Well, the mod. In particular, it's one mod. Um, I'm gonna kill this waterfall. Because I see that it's only gonna be annoying. And since it's only there. And here goes the water. And this is a dead end. A lot of dead ends. Don't quite like that at all. That means I'm gonna have to dig down. But we're gonna go back up here. Can check this cave area as well. Oh, is it tin? Yes, we have tin. And aluminum, or aluminium as we call it, um, make raw aluminium, which I don't really know what to use for, but sure there are uses for it. Where's the way up again? Oh, there it is. Okay, so here we make this uh, landing area. I'm gonna dig this out like this, and we will then actually go here, have a stairwell. Yeah. So we need stairs. Well, not stairs, but ladders. And how do we make ladders? Well, we need a lot of sticks. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. We can only make three of that, so... Let's get one stack. So we get two of these. Not quite a friend of that whole balancing thing. Okay. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. With my favorites. There we go. 57 should be more than enough. Let's uh, get rid of the ore. Do we have a chest for stone? No. Um, in there for the moment. Actually, let's uh, let's make some barrels. There we go, we can make two. One there and there, and we can then get dirt and cobblestone. Perfect. Um, yeah. Get rid of the wood from there. Don't need to carry it around. Get some more torches. And we go down into... Whoa, that was close into hmm come on kind of terrifying to see a creeper stand like that Okay, so it's this one, and that one seems to go on a bit down here. I 
I wanted to replace this with stone just to make it look a bit better all for the aesthetics you know oh and I think I need to fix the settings for for climbing on these uh, in uh, smart moving but that's not a problem just had to remember to do it gonna do that between this and the next episode oh more iron as I said I did turn up the amount of stuff um, but yeah probably not that much in the long run no dead end oh well all right so I've been doing a lot of mining this episode uh, I do think that I will round this episode off fairly soon I'm gonna do a little bit more digging with you um, but I have said that I won't do so much digging on camera because it's kind of boring to watch although I do hope that my random talk helps let's see like so and some light please we're going a little bit more down I hear zombies might be in this area. I'm gonna grab this tin, which is good. I'm in tin layer area now. That can help out. Because tin is usually found in 35-ish. Ooh, more of the spellstone. I'm gonna call it spellstone. I like to light. I light. I like to light up the areas that I enter, um, so I don't have spawns in my staircase. That would be kind of rude. I was hoping that we would find some caves down here. More iron, but that's not helping. Of course, it is helping, but. Not when you want to go spelunk. Um, cobblestone, please. I have a vague feeling that... Ooh, is this lead? Yes. Lead is useful for factorization stuff. Not that I have done so much factorization, but... Maybe, maybe. I can actually hear a slime. Oh, that was dangerous. Oops. Let's see if we can find the slime. There are slimes, it's usually kind of open area and not too dark. I kind of like these exploratory mining, trying to figure out where stuff are close now. It's in this direction. It's 
think it's still in this direction. Can I grab this quartz while I'm here? He is definitely in this direction. It would be awesome to get some slimes, actually. Oh, here he is. Found it. Oh, we broke into a... We broke into a cave system. Um, I'm not gonna go too wild in this cave system. Um, kind of want to make sure that I can easily get to my... to my ladder. So I'm going to soon have to go up and repair. And it's broken, and I can't do anything with it now. And I'm gonna climb up. And here's the question, can I actually get all the way up without dying horribly? No. Like so. That was the only way. And I'm actually, while I am here, let's uh, make some stairs. Just for ease of moving. Yeah, helps. Thank you. Let's uh, get rid of our stuff. I have a little bit of dirt there. Quartz crystals, slime balls, flint and some shards of minium. The rotten flesh and the slime balls can go there. However, I remember vaguely that there was something I can make with slime. Green slime. Um So sand, four of those makes one slime crystal. It's very slow mining speed though. Incredibly slow actually. So it's probably not worth it. Though the handle itself I'm gonna make an experiment here. So, I need sand. Let's, uh... Oh. Got stuck on the door. Sun's going down soon. I'm gonna get a few sand here. It's gonna last me for a little while. Maybe I can get some glass later and stuff like that. Um, I want to set something up there so I can get more of that in an easy way. We do have two iron chunks. I'm thinking if I take the binding and the head Okay, let's see. If I combine one dirt, one sand, and for those slimy mud. If I then cook this slimy mud, oh, with one coal, it will turn into slime crystal. If I make the handle out of that, because if you look at this, um, Yeah. Oh, 
looking at it now the slime shard sure but using the slime rod it's the handle gives a five multiplier Copper isn't bad, but... Yeah, we're gonna go for that, make a handle out of it. So we need to get... a handle... slime rod. What does it say? It doesn't say anything there. And again we need a pickaxe head. Gives me a lot of durability in comparison to this one, um, which only has 325 durability. It's actually not a bad thing. I'm gonna go with that. So I'll be using uh, this setup here and I might reinforce this to some more uh, more interesting stuff later. I'm gonna save that because I'm probably gonna need that to repair. Wow, it's a green one. Yeah, and I'm gonna be doing that off camera and gather some more materials. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.